Hey, what's up, Crafty Family? Your girl, Brittany, here with BB's Crafts. I have a project share to share with you today. I participated in Tiffany Swap, and it is Halloween in August, and she's hosting this over on her Facebook page, Coffee, Cake, and Crafting. I will have a link to the Facebook page down below in the description box for you. We have fun all good times. There are questions you have to answer before you may be allowed into the group. May be. Keyword. And, um... So for this swap, we had various things that we had to do, but not too much. And of course, it's Halloween. You know, Halloween is my jam. It's life. It, I literally live it 24-7, 365, and I go ham on actual Halloween day. All right? So before we get into everything, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Hey, why aren't you? Um might want to get ahead and go and do that i am trying to reach 3k before the end of the year that is my goal so if you can you know help your girl out that would be amazing and don't forget to like this video as well all right all right so enough with all of that extra let's go ahead and show you what i made <laughs> all right so starting off with the outside packaging so this is how my stuff comes packaged and then I just have it taped so it doesn't go anywhere. It has some fun shreddies on the inside. And then I did like some fabric tearing and I just added it onto the outside of um, some macrame cord. And then these cute skeletons. Now I got this I think from Family Dollar and it's actually a garland so I just took it apart and then I just have my little skeletons here and I added a clothespin on the back so it is reusable. This um, macrame cord is reusable as well if they want to pull it off and add it to their decor piece, whichever. But I did leave one out so then that way we can look at everything in its entirety. Now, remember this. This is look familiar. Ooh, well, yes. This is my Flat Toe 2.0. I just did a tutorial on this. I'll have this link somewhere up there, up there, somewhere. And so in case you guys missed it, it is very versatile. Even though I did it for my Halloween series it doesn't mean that you can't use it for other things so um so that is what i did i did say i was going to come back in another video to show you what i did with it so um i did add the acetate pocket and in the front i just have this fun little sequin mix and i added a little spoon and get from hobby lobby or you can get it from amazon oh and i learned they got them at daiso too so you know all sorts of places i did some fun beads and charms on there made it real halloweeny and then of course my little card here that I put in my group swaps. Um, so I had a spooky good time creating this for you. Hope you have a ghoulish, ghoulish good time with my swap. And then there is my QR code. You scan the QR code and it links you up to all of my social media stuff. And then here is one of the cards from the collection that I use. And then this is just the information on the swap. I was a little lazy. I forgot to print something out to put on the back of it. So I hand wrote it. That's okay. I have great penmanship, so it works. And um, just so that you are aware, uh, just so you are aware, I did use Halloween Market by Cartabella. I believe this came out last year. Um, and so that's the collection that I had used. So, um, and I also have another little goodie in here. This is um, uh, Treasure It Little Beadlets. And yeah, so there is that. And then, um, so for this swap, we were to create um three treat boxes or something or another and they had to be flat so then that way when they're ready to use it the, all they got to do is fold it up and whatever what have you and then we were supposed to create three bag toppers now you know bag toppers are my life they're one of my favorite things to make uh, three bag toppers and then you had to include three bags to go with it now they had to coordinate with what the back topper was so if you did like a skull bag topper then you needed to either include a bag that had like skulls on it or you know try to incorporate it in some kind of way and then we we're also um supposed to um, include a special goodie like something that we like to create or something or another along those lines so we're gonna get started. I'm gonna get started with my special goodie. Now you guys know, ever since I got my cinch machine, I, it's one of my favorite things to use. It's one of my favorite crafty tool, right up there with my envelope punch board. And so that is what I did. I included a pen. Oop, got some sticky stuck to me. I included a pen on there as well. Isn't this so cute? 
Yoda. So I have the little bow here. It says Spooky Halloween. Added some ribbon and then some fun little stickers from the collection. Had this bottle cup um, embellishment and my stash. Added some buttons. Um, and then this little ghosty here. Does he look like old boy from the Ghostbusters? Like for Robo. And added them in center as well. And like I said, it's just like, you know, you know I love doing my little index card um notebooks and then you flip it you have another piece from the collection just to separate the pages and something quick and simple and then i also have spooked by bb's crafts these are stickers that i had made and had cut out on my cricut i love making my stickers okay and then so for my treat boxes or bags or whatever these are what i created i'm not going to go into full detail on what this is because i did do a project share video for coco rosa studio and it's using that particular die and this is the little mailer box so so stinking cute and then here's another one of the stickers i made and it's um spooky and it's um it says spooky and then it's uh says spooked by bb's crafts so love that um instead of saying handmade by it was you're spooked spooked by <laughs> i'm here all day guys and so that is what i included we were supposed to include three of those so that is um our other thingamajig and then for our now this i saved this for last because this was my absolute favorite my absolute favorite okay so we're supposed to include three bag toppers right so here are my bag toppers now i used that um ribbon spool um die from ks craft and then these um word pieces phrases are also ks craft ones the ones that she came out with this year and i added them on these little hair clips and all I did was wrap it with some twine and then I attached it and then I added a strip behind it as well to, so it could hold stability and um, make sure that it was secured as well. And then all you do is just, it just clips, you just clip it on and I love it. So we have that one, we have treats and then we have another ghost one. And then I cut slits in it so then that way they can slide easily on the inside there. And so, like I said, they had to have coordinating bags. And so I altered some treat bags. So here is one of them and it says boo. And then all you do is like you just fold it up. Now I'm gonna take one of my clippies and be like, boom, ta-da. Like legit, we're good. And I put them in order from where, and I did this for all three of the swaps. I put them in order of which they're supposed to coordinate with the treat bag. So we have the boo. And then we have trick or treat, and that goes with the treats. This one here, I have the pumpkins, have my scrapping for my boy's flower. You know, she's my flower dealer. And then I also added some fun little jemmies there. And then this one is ghosts, and it had like the ghost tag. And these are ephemera pieces from the Halloween market. Have some ruffles that I was gifted. I can't remember by whom, but if this was you, thank you. And um, again, the little gems, and again, you know. It goes in order, ghost treats and ghosts, so it coordinates well. And then how I have this package, I have this coupon, like um, a couple years ago, I hosted a binder page um, challenge. And so this is one of the ones that were made, um, the embellishments that were made on there. And then I added a clothespin. And then, so when we do it, oh, and here's another sticker with the little witch's legs, spooked by Phoebe's Fast. So when I go ahead and I put this in here, it goes like this. Okay, put that in. Let me go ahead and clip this back on. So it goes, and then this goes right on top. Now before I officially seal it, because I want to make sure that everything is in place, I'm going to add my clip so it's holding everything together like that. And then I'm going to flip. Flip and zip. All right. Bada boom, bada boom. And so that, my friends, is my swap. I really, really had a lot of fun creating this. It was quick, it was simple. Um, of course, I have to make things difficult. This is the tote in its completion. I do have to put the little notebook back in its bag, but this is what she's looking like. I absolutely love it. 
so love it and then again this gives you an idea of what you can do with that tote so again that video will be linked somewhere somewhere or another in this video and so um, i hope you guys enjoyed what i created i hope whoever receives my swap enjoys it too as well as tiffany she is not a halloween person but she likes to give the audience what they want and so she has to suck it up buttercup because she don't like spooky i tried to tone it down a little bit but the smallest thing will scare her so you know it is what it is i hope you guys enjoyed what i created i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye